Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business to help share tips and ideas uh, within their industry. And today I'm happy to announce to all you dog lovers out there, I have Valerie. And Valerie, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what it is that you do? Okay, sure. I'm Valerie Broadway and I run Canine Coaching Services and it's Family Dog Training and Behavioral Services. I come to people's homes and help them individually with their dogs uh, or dogs come stay with me and I do the training for them. Okay, so talking about dogs, what do you typically get calls for to, to help, the, help the dogs with? Okay, it runs the gambit. It could be just puppy issues. Uh, need to get the puppy on the right track, uh, not jumping on people, nipping, that sort of thing. Or it could be very serious behavioral issues. The dogs could be very aggressive, uh, very fearful, and uh, just help with you know whatever the issues are, I can help with. Okay, so, so why would a dog uh, develop a behavioral issue? Well, in most situations for behavioral problems, it's almost uniform across the board that the owners are doing or not doing the same things. And so the dogs need leadership. The owners may not be providing the leadership that the dog needs, so the dog is trying to navigate on its own or maybe is trying to take over because it doesn't see leadership in the home. Uh, the dogs have been under-socialized or not socialized at all, and so they're fearful of new things, uh, whether it's coming into the home, people coming to the home, or when they're out and about, they're fearful. Um, and then also the dogs are not getting the exercise they need. And dogs are, are active athletes, most of them, and they really need to have opportunities for exercise every single day. Okay. So uh, we have a dog, and I'm a fan of, or I've seen a few shows of Cesar Milan, and um, he says that a lot of times it's usually the owner that, that he's training and not the dogs. Do you find that true? Yes, that's exactly right. Uh, I say it's 60% training the people, 40% training the dog in most cases, but there are cases where it's 90% training the people and 10% training the dog, but yeah, definitely. Okay, so are there any issues or behavioral problems that can't be corrected? Well, um, yeah, most can. But I find that if the dog has been doing a negative behavior, let's say it's aggression, and the dog's been very aggressive since it was like eight weeks old, that's a big red flag. Uh, there's something going on there that's not normal. Um, if the dog is um, uh, unpredictable, you can be in the same scenario five times, nothing happens. The sixth time, for no apparent reason, the dog just goes off on somebody. Um, that also could be an indicator of maybe a mental illness. Also, when dogs are over four, it's a little harder to make the turnaround because they've really been doing this behavior for so long, but you can fix that. But if it's possibly a mental health issue, uh, those are really hard to correct. Uh, and, and, but most dogs don't fall in that category. That's a very, very tiny percentage. Uh, so most dogs can be fixed. Okay. So is there any uh, stories or, or um, situations where uh, you want to share with us that was maybe unusual? I'm sure. Um, I've had a few. You know, a lot of them are, are, are very uh, individual, but I've had a few that I thought, I mm, hope I can help this dog. Uh, one, I had a Boston Terrier that was rescued from a uh, breeding operation that was confiscated by the animal control. And this dog was in its new home, would be from a dead sleep and wake up and just viciously attack whoever was close, whether it was a dog or a person. And I'm thinking, well, how do you help a dog that's having nightmares? But I found that really to, had to help her with her self-confidence confidence and once she overall had some self-confidence uh, the issue just disappeared. Um, I had another dog, uh, a pit bull rescue president sent her dog to me and she said she couldn't foster because her dog uh, is so vicious to other dogs and when the dog first came the first few days I was like I don't know this dog's pretty tough but now the woman can foster other dogs they play in the backyard together it's just a different world for her and she's so pleased with that. Um, and then I have one more if you have time. Mm -hmm. um, I had a Jack Russell Terrier recently that came to me. I was the third trainer the dog's owners had used. The first trainer the dog had was asked to leave because it was so disruptive in her facility. The second trainer said the dog could not be fixed because it was just, it was just too big of a problem. And uh, the dog came with me and stayed for two weeks and now the dog goes to the dog park every day and the family's just so pleased to have a dog that's friendly and they can take everywhere they go. Wow, that's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah. it's wonderful. I love it. I yeah, love it. Fantastic. Well, thank you for the information, and yeah. I would love to talk more, but we don't have time. But if you all out there would uh, uh, like to find out more information about Valerie, uh, check out the website at the end of this video. And if you did find that this video was valuable to you and it's your first time hanging out with us, I'd love to have you subscribe at, at InFocusStudios.com to see more webisodes. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, certainly subscribe uh, to the InFocus Studios YouTube channel. So that's it for this week. Until next time, 
Take care. Bye-bye.